Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can add third party libraries to your aircraft on MS Flight Simulator 2020. For the very first time that I added a third party livery to the game, uh, it was a little bit daunting, but after a few attempts, it is quite an easy task. So I'm going to show you how to add these amazing third party liveries to your aircraft on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. All you want to do is find a third party developer that are developing these libraries for your planes. I recommend going over to somewhere like msfsaddons.org. They really have some amazing uh, freeware plugins. Uh, you've got planes and aircraft. You've also got payware loads of freeware for scenery and then you've got your library packs as well so all you do is click on whatever you want it will download it in a zip file and then you're going to have to and extract it to the microsoft flight simulator community folder and i'm going to show you how to do it it really is quite easy right so if i go back into microsoft flight simulator now you can see, this is my hangar, you can see the British Airways library there. Uh, I'm going to close the game altogether. So once you've downloaded whatever add-on or livery you want, you're going to go to WinR. And then you should see whatever livery you've downloaded or scenery you've downloaded. You're going to double click it. Double click it again, and you can see I've got a, a 747 livery and also an A320, the A35. Now, you don't have to extract everything. If you want a Pacific livery, you're going to click, say, the 747 liveries, right click it, and then press Extract to a Pacific folder. Now, you need to remember where Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is actually located. Mine is on a Kingston SSD. So once you've located where you've stored Microsoft Flight Simulator 220, you can press Program Files, and you can go down to WPS System, and then click this. Then you can go to App Data, go to Local, go to Packages, go to Microsoft Flight Simulator, then once you're here, you're going to go to local cache. Then you're going to go to packages and then you go to community. Once you're on a community, press OK. I've already extracted the 747, so I'm just going to redo it. Yes to all. And that is the library extracted to Microsoft Flight Simulator 220. So the next time you open up your game go into the aircraft go into the libraries and you should be able to see the new library for your aircraft so once you reboot the game after extracting the folder into the community tab go on to your profile go to your hangar change aircraft let's go for the uh, 747 in your hangar it won't give you the ability to change the library so you're going to have to go back to the home page once you're back at the home page i always find it easier go to the world map we'll click on the plane go to libraries and you can see the korean air has been downloaded extracted to the community folder we'll go back to the home page then we we'll go to profile, we we'll go to my hangar, and you can see the Korean Air livery looking in all its glory, absolutely amazing. Now there is a, a bit of a fault on this one because uh, it's mirrored, so there's two versions, depending on what way you wanna take off, you can see the Korean Air looking absolutely amazing there, but on the other side it'd be mirrored to that version so you'll have to depending if you're making videos or anything like that and it really annoys you you'll have to switch to the other 
delivery. Remember, check out that website for all the add-ons. Uh, they are pretty amazing uh, guys out there producing so much content for Microsoft Flight Simulator 220. If you're new around here, I do make my simulator videos, so please leave a like, subscribe, and I shall get back to you with another video. Thanks for watching.